What's up, folks? This is Justin from Books, Bricks, and Boards. Today, I'm here to talk to you about a game called Cities Without Numbers. Cities Without Numbers is part of a line of books including Worlds Without Numbers and Stars Without Numbers by Cine Nomine. Kevin Crawford is the author of this game, and it was kickstarted back in, I believe, April of this year, and it is just getting wrapped up as far as getting ready to go to the printers, and I thought today would be a good time to talk to everybody about what this game entails, why you might want to think about picking it up, and also remind you that after the Kickstarter uh, ships, then Kevin will most likely put some copies of the offset print version on his website. That's what he's done with his past Kickstarters. I have no reason to believe he won't do that with this. And if you're wanting to pick up a copy, you're not going to have very many opportunities to do so because these are popular books. So without further ado, let's talk about Cities Without Number. Cities Without Number is the cyberpunk ode to Shadow Run and Cyberpunk 2020 uh, that builds upon the game base that was started with Stars Without Number and continued in Worlds Without Number, Godbound, Wolves of God, and so on and so forth. The system could best be described as BXD&D with Traveler skill mechanics and an edge focus system, which is uh, an enhanced version of feats for more modern games. Edges cover specialized areas of expertise, giving specific mechanical advantage to existing actions, while foci tend to be more flavorful character-defining changes that give a hero entirely new ways to interact with the world around them. So what is different about Cities Without Number? Well, Cities Without Number is all I talked about from Worlds Without Number and Stars Without Number with some extra spice. It adds cyberpunk and Shadowrun elements to gameplay to the wonderful world of BX and retro clones. It covers all the beats that you would expect, extensive details for running heists, hacking, defense, rescue, and all manner of other cyberpunk tropes. Additionally, it keeps the rules that are tacked on close to the core mechanics without introducing a lot of unnecessary complexity. The book also successfully unmoors BX from classes altogether, with all the heroes just playing as operators. If you think that's going to limit your options, you'd be wrong. With the detailed rules to play hackers, drone operators, street samurai, and everything in between, you're not going to be disappointed. What's more, it provides guidance on incorporating other without number books into your game seamlessly to create the dystopian future of your choosing. Some Shadowrun style casters and mechanics are also included as options for your game. Think spiritual summoners. I would be committing a great disservice to you if I didn't talk about the world building tools that Kevin is known for. That's his sweet spot and he hits all those beats. He's got tables for creating random missions, jobs, fixers, corporations, gangs, neighborhoods, so on and so forth. There's huge numbers of these great tables that help you to create a living world to run your game in. Now, Cities Without Numbers is, as I said, getting ready to go to the printers for Kickstarter backers, of which I'm one. But you will soon be able to pick up the PDF, I imagine, probably through DriveThruRPG, and if I'm guessing, Kevin may keep some extra copies of this beautiful offset print book on his site. As you can see here from the Stars Without Number book, which is the offset print version, and the Worlds Without Number book, which is a print version of that, these are some great books to add to your collection. I currently have a copy of all of the different offset print books that Cine Nomine has offered, including Wolves of God and also the Atlas of the Latter Earth for Worlds Without Number. Cine Nomine puts out a fantastic product. 
I've not had any of their books that I've been disappointed in, and the game mechanics are very solid. Being able to play a game like Shadowrun without the clunky mechanics that are generally associated with that game is really appealing to me. And having a ready toolkit to create content on the fly really makes me think that there's probably going to be a solo playthrough of Cities Without Numbers by yours truly as soon as the physical book comes out. That being said, I have read the entire PDF of the rules and it is not going to disappoint. As you can see, this has got a very distinctive art quality to it. Uh, it really is evocative of what he's trying to portray with the mega corporation structure right up front and center. And this is going to be a massive tome. You're going to get around uh, 260 pages uh, of material here. And this is a full size, not a digest size book. So that's a lot to look at. Now, <clears throat> as far as what makes this different from the other Cine Nomine games, it's going to be the character options, it's going to be the enemies, and it's going to be the style of adventures that you're going to play with it. The hacking mechanics are going to be uh, very similar, if not exactly the same as the ones um, from uh, Stars Without Number. Uh, I didn't notice any major differences, but I'm not a big fan of hacking gameplay, so I didn't look as closely at those in, whenever I was reading Stars Without Number. Um, but the drone rules are great. Um, generally, the character creation options are very interesting. And the world that you get to play around in is fantastic. There's tons of different NPCs to work with, and there's also a sample city uh, that you can play out of, or there's all the tools to create your own, because of course this is a Kevin Crawford game. The uh, rules for the different vehicles and cyber uh, cybernetic attachments and things uh, work very well. And there's an offsetting balance that uh, if you dip heavily into cyber, it really limits what you can do with magic. And it also limits your ability to heal. The game does cover uh, the, uh, the idea of magic in a cyberpunk game because some cyberpunk settings would have magic. And so you get the option uh, of having magic users of various types. And it also uh, goes into some detail on the best ways to uh, go ahead and blend options from Worlds Without Number or Stars Without Number into your Cities Without Number game. I would add that the core mechanics of the game remain pretty well unchanged from what I can tell from Worlds Without Number and the revised Stars Without Number. But when you, you start talking about adding complete rules for cybernetics, uh, for using drones, all of the technology that goes with a cyberpunk setting, uh, there's definitely a lot of uh, options to uh, roll with. Uh, there's some new foci and some new edges as well. And because they've decided to completely unmoor your characters from classes, the uh, character creation options uh, kind of fill some of those voids so that you can have a, an even more well-rounded option that covers multiple different tropes as a hero. And I'll just go through a couple of my favorites now and hopefully that will whet your appetite for some more Cities Without Number, which you'll pick up yourself. First off, in character creation, uh, just like with Worlds Without Number and Stars Without Number, they have the option to do everything completely random, and I got some great uh, results from this when I did this with Stars Without Number, and this looks to be uh, just as good. Some of the different uh, backgrounds that you can uh, get, you can either choose or roll them, uh, are very interesting and very evocative of the setting. Uh, my personal favorite is the drone jockey, uh, and that would allow you to uh, kind of have your toy drones that you would roll around the city doing mischievous deeds with. 
One of the big things that is common to the cyberpunk style game is going to be the, the idea that you are going to rely on your relationships as much as you are your tech or your magic to get through your jobs. And it starts off um, Cities Without Number uh, cementing this with your contacts. Uh, you're going to get to choose either two acquaintances or one friend, and I would encourage you to roll them randomly because Kevin has some great tables. This is just the start. There's a few tables or a few pages worth of tables to create your contacts, but this is going to give you some great ideas for some jumping off points for adventures or ways that you can insert some real uh, living, breathing characters into your world during an adventure. As far as edges go in Cities Without Number, I thought that one of the ones that really captured the style they were going for the best was unregistered. So in the cyberpunk genre, typically you are going to be performing tasks and jobs that would be looked down upon by the mega corporations that have all the power. So I thought it was interesting that they would offer an edge which has a much more story focused bonus to it like unregistered uh, where you don't have any uh, any trail of your character on the books and this can be a quite can be quite a powerful story advantage for your heroes and I, I love that they put this in as an optional edge to acquire because cybernetics are such a big part of the game, uh, they did actually include rules that would cover if you had mortal injuries that damaged your cybernetics as well, which I thought was a really nice touch and also made cybernetics more than just a flat mechanical advantage. Uh, there is upkeep to them and there's also some repair risk. So that, that seemed like a very cool way to handle that. There are tons and tons and tons of pages on cybernetics and drones and uh, the, uh, the game really covers these things in a way that is intuitive and manageable uh, but still gives the flavor that you want for this type of a game. The drones in particular, I thought they did an excellent job. There's been uh, drone rules in other games that have really been kind of convoluted and required a lot of uh, record keeping and, and uh, babysitting. And these just kind of uh, substitute your actions for the drone's actions. And the drones have some really cool abilities. And then there's uh, lots of options to mod and make them your own. I think this is a great way to handle it, and drones for me are a, uh, a major trope that I want to be in my cyberpunk game. Uh, Kevin Crawford is the master of uh, world building tools, and this is no different. Uh, the Cities Without Numbers uh, book has a ton of uh, content dedicated to building out your world. And each one of the different tags that he has created, he, he gives you a little blurb to uh, kind of get the creative juices started and then lets you just run with it. And I think this is a great example of how to uh, make this type of a game more accessible to folks that maybe don't want to do all of the work to create a cyberpunk world that seems lived in. Uh, but, but still, you're going to get a great result, and I think this is a success here. The mission and job creation uh, tables in the book are fantastic, especially for somebody like me that likes to run some solo games. Uh, being able to randomly create this kind of content is going to kind of solidify those options that you're going to uh, kind of feed into the GM emulator and it's going to give you some really interesting stories that, that you're not going to expect how they're always going to go. Uh, so the, the mission and job creation tools in this book are amazing. I was really glad to see that Kevin included rules for heat uh, based upon 
who you've made angry and what kind of consequences there might be for uh, kind of getting on the wrong side of the local government or the uh, powerful local mega corporations. I think this is really well done and I think it adds uh, an element of realism to the gameplay. And right after the section on mixing your different Cine Nomine games together, uh, there is the supplemental material. This is going to be the only part of the book that's not included in the free download. So, uh, you know, I, I believe typically Kevin's um, full, uh, full versions of the PDFs with the supplemental materials run around 20 bucks. I, this one may have to go up a little bit because I know costs have gone up, but the past ones have been about 20 bucks. But this is going to kind of cover what material you're going to gain by uh, getting the paid version. Um, typically, I would say that um, the, uh, the supplemental materials in these books are not necessary, uh, but I still buy all of them because I want to support Kevin and I want to support Cine Nomine. Um, but in this book in particular, I find that this is much more uh, necessary for my style of cyberpunk game than the supplemental material in Worlds Without Number or Stars Without Number. Uh, so you can see this is going to cover um, quirks of uh, cyber product lines from different specific manufacturers, uh, variant humans, uh, cyber alienation, cheap cyber. Uh, so you can actually uh, try to uh, short the cost of your cybernetics and end up having some interesting quirks in them because of that. It's got a full section on magic and different specific types of casters. Uh, summoners and spirit calling, that really is something that is uh, kind of uh, aping what goes on in Shadowrun, and I, that's the game that I mostly want to use this for is because I, I've never really liked the Shadowrun mechanics, but I love the world, and so this is going to give me an opportunity to play in that world with the mechanics I would prefer. Um, got some extra foci. Uh, it's got uh, the ability to play as the Graced, uh, which were also in Stars Without Number, I believe. And then there's a huge section on magic items and building your own magic items and using them in a cyberpunk-style world. So that covers pretty much what is going to be in the book. Hopefully this helps you to understand kind of what this is going to look like. So whenever you get a chance to check out Cities Without Numbers, I do uh, greatly encourage you to do so. Uh, Kevin Crawford is one of the true greats in the industry, a very genuinely nice guy. He puts up almost all of his books for free as PDFs on drive through and then sells an extended uh, special edition that has a few extra pages in it for those of us that want to support his cause. It's no different with Cities Without Number. He's actually going to put all of the rules in a Creative Commons license uh, just to make sure to keep the product available to those who might enjoy it. So give it a look, try out some of the other without numbers books in the series, and then come back and make sure to pick up a copy of Cities Without Numbers from Cine Nomine. That's S-I-N-E-N-O-M-I-N-E. -N -E. Uh, again, this is Justin from Books, Bricks, and Boards. This was not a paid sponsorship. I'm just a big fan of Kevin Crawford's work, and I think you should be too. If you'd like to take a look at one of my other Cine Nomine uh, based videos, I did a video on Worlds Without Number a few months ago, and I'll link that at the end of the video. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, this has been Justin from Books, Bricks, and Boards. Good gaming, and God bless.